The thing about this fine lad, Coach Kise said of just retired Daiseiryu, is that he really looks the part. He's just got that top division wrestler's face. But to his credit outside and detriment inside the ring, he was just too nice and serious to go beyond Division 2. I just wish he'd lightened up a bit more. Daiseiryu, real name Yoshitomo Sasayama, indeed resembles an Edo-era wrestler looking far beyond his 31 years. The result, perhaps, of 26 years of skull-bashing impact. I started out, aged 5, as the younger brother who followed his older brother into the local sumo club. He said, just before his top knot was cut, I was constantly planning to quit at first, he continued. But there was value in doing sumo, especially when all of us lads worked as a team and shared the rewards and joys together. He debuted professionally in the infamous dimly lit meet of May 2011, fought under power saving conditions, and given only semi tournament status in the wake of match fixing mayhem. His brother, Sasayama, under the same stable roof, had debuted three years before. Taking their pro baby steps with him, though, were these illustrious names as well as Bubbly Wakayama Naka, his second pre-sumo opponent, with whom it seems he still gets on. His first official tournament in July 2011 saw him face stablemate Sakumayama, the future Komusubi Jokoryu for the 6th Division Crown, a match I now recall watching on TV. It ended in defeat, alas, for the wrestler then known as Sasa Noyama. The following year saw both those men move from Kitanomi to the current Kise stable, re-established after a two-year liquidation for ticket sales to the wrong kind of folk. Jokoryu in the end would far outstrip Sasa Noyama, who broke a toe in his left foot and suffered lower back trouble soon after the stable move. He was consequently told to practice Zen meditation by a concerned coach Kisei, and later admitted it helped him clear his mind, thereby soothing his injury worries. In 2017, renamed Daiseido, or The Great Path to Better Things, he became the first Kise Stable man not from a university background to reach Division 2. And he far from disgraced himself there, earning a winning score by toppling Yago, Terutsuyoshi, Kitaharima, Osuna Arashi, Chiyono, Tsurugisho, Chiyotori, and Ryuden. Back problems meant he could never keep that kind of form going, but his final win in the second tier, in March 2019, came against Takano Shou, another notable scalp. His dramatic re-promotion to that level came on the very day his brother retired to open a Chango restaurant. One of several poetic coincidences, two more of which were to follow shortly. His first ever sumo coach and mentor in high school days, Nobukazu Hidakawa, passed away in late 2021. The protege of his, now named Daiseiryu, after a dragon who soars, vowed to repay Hidakawa in some way in the ring, and just five tournaments later fought the sumo of his career, scooping the third tier title. Coach Hidakawa was always driving me to practice and driving me home as well, dropping in at restaurants on the way, ensuring I ate well, just treating me like a son, said Daiseiryu in his moment of triumph. 
I think he's been helping me even from the grave, he added. He part dedicated that title as well to Jean Cordieu, who had, believe it or not, fought his last professional match just minutes before, and rebuffed the first media questions with, go and interview my title winning mate instead, it'll make much better copy. He's been there with me all the way, I'm so grateful for his help, was the quote they said you gave. But I can't get carried away right here, he went on. Coach Hidakawa would surely be saying, the real work starts now. They said you was very good to this channel as well, delivering all your messages to his stable's senior colleagues in the summer of 2022. And as Uda's direct attendant, he was generous to Uda's fans at Kise Stable parties, even offering to win for them in upcoming tour exhibition bouts. By the time he'd gone 0 and 7 in the May of last year, it was clear his back had given in, and he basically said at the tournament after party it would be damage limitation from then on. According to coach Kise, they said his first wish to retire was expressed some four months after that, and his next job was swiftly lined up. He'll be working for a sumo goods distributor based in Uda's native Osaka, whose president I believe I've met at a Kise stable party, in which case the man's in good hands. My abiding memory though was made exactly two years ago today, on the way back home from this tour event here. So easy was it to return to downtown Tokyo from Kuki that several Dewanomi group men took the regular train with no special seating requests. Tochinoshin and attendant were to the right of the car's furthest forward door. Aoyama and attendant were roughly opposite them. And Uda and Dai Seiryu were crammed into the corner seats to the left of that door. I said goodbye to both of them as I got off to change trains. Well done on that third tier title, escaped my lips too. And felt I was leaving a snapshot of a Dewanomi group era. And now, of the men I just mentioned, only Uda's top knot remains. Thank you.